Yeah. Let's get to your contenders, because, Buzz, you reckon, what, there's five teams that can win the comp. Yeah, Mick, I've got Panthers, yep. Storm, Broncos, Rabbitohs and Cowboys as genuine hopes of raising the Norman Arthur on first weekend of October. I think they can all win the comp. And outside of them, I've got the Warriors next as a slight hope because, you know, they're knocking over good footy sides. Do you agree there's five? I I would lump the Warriors in as well because I think at some stage they'll probably get a home final. Win the comp, though? Well, if you you get a home final, they they could have a home final in week one or week two or week three. You know, and, and I guess and if they play top, if they they will nearly finish they, they, in the top four. They'll probably finish in the top four. So, but have uh, you got? Sorry, who've you got in the top four? Warriors. Warriors. Oh yeah. But guys, yeah, how yeah. good is this comp? Origin has gone. Queensland have won. We we've moved on, and we have. You're saying six genuine contenders. And if you mm. look at, you know, if it's a Parramatta or Cronulla finish eighth. That's a pretty strong eight side. Mm. Do you know, do, like then, then, yeah, but they're not going. Parent, no, parent. But I'm talking if if you if it's a five v eight and, and you're and you're that eight side. If you're playing Parramatta and everyone's back and they can somehow scrape in and Dylan Brown starts to come back, Reggie's back and Sevo's back and and they can find some form. There, there, no, they're, there's no guarantee that whoever comes fifth will beat mm. that caliber of side. You know, sometimes eights limps to the finals. Mm. Mm. There's some good players. That there's a, there will be a good team that finishes eighth. I don't think they're going to win the comp, but they, they will. They, they could beat. They could win week one. Problem for Cronulla is they're going to have to play a top eight team in that <laughs> top eight final oh, series. Do you, so you have to start with it. <laughs> How do they fix that, what, Buzzy? How do they fix it? Well, Fitzy started by picking a, an informed side this weekend yeah. and and making some tough decisions on Wade Gray and Matt Moylan, and I hope he makes more if they don't come good against Man. Is that the end of Wade? Fitzy Graham? is a great coach to have at that club and that's why he's signed for five years but if if he had one fault and it's a nice fault to have he's too loyal he's stuck with a few blokes for a couple yeah for probably a bit longer is wade graham finished when you watch him play over the last six weeks i would suggest he's going to have an enormous struggle to get back into that side whether a little break refreshes him i don't know um, it's particularly interesting because Teague Wilton's not playing and, and gone for the season as question. well. So you would have mm. thought, yeah. you know, a time... I know Wade's been poor, so I, I think it was the right decision. But a, a time like this with essentially your season almost on the line and you drop Wade Graham, and deservingly so. I, you know, he's been poor, there's no doubt about that. But that just shows, I, I think he's done, Buzz. I don't, I don't know if we see him in first grade again, unless there's an injury. Yeah, probably. Probably. Look, and, and Wade's a realist. Yeah. Wade would be dirty on what he's doing. And um, how do I say this? Is there a nice way of saying it? I I don't like seeing players who have gone one year too long. Yeah. And you know what? I want to remember Wade Graham as that powerhouse edge forward who won us the grand final, mm. who played Origin who played for Australia. And there's another guy, right, who isn't going quite as bad as Wayne, as Wade, but Aaron Woods at Manly. Um, I remember Woodsy being the most feared front rower, not just in the NRL, but he's in the Australian side and the New South Wales origin team. Mm. And Mick, you look back at Woodsy now and his form, He's turning up each week and getting a sort of getting a job done. But I want to remember these two players as greats of the game. It is interesting with, with Manly. What do you think of Woodsy, mate? Well, it is interesting because they've dropped Toff Sipley and Ethan Bullymore, I think, this weekend. Get and, Lodge in. And, and Lodge's, Lodge's come in. Well, Lodge, you know, if Lodge is match fit, he, he's in there 17. But I thought it's a bit... Tough on on Sipley because I thought he, he he was poor. I think he's a rugged guy. He, he was Good poor, though, and he wasn't the only one that was poor against North Queensland. But you know, I think he's been a, he, he's had a yeah. good season. Probably deserved a, another yeah. crack. You know? Where where I want to give Woodsy and Wade a rap is that they are both very passionate about mentoring 
people coming yeah, through. Yeah, they're great blokes to be yeah. in and around Outstanding the club. Outstanding humans. And and they're not on big money I, buzz. No, they're not on big... I just don't like seeing them not quite up to speed. Or I want to... I want to remember Woodsy with that long hair tearing apart mm -hmm. England, New Zealand, Test sides and the Maroons, although he played against those great Queensland sides. But He's got another 12 months too, Woodsy. Yeah. 